Here are our fish, they've arrived by courier. We've got 60 fish that have arrived from Aussie fish. Aussie fish is a hatchery at Childers in Queensland. And this is how your fish arrive. It's just quite simple, really. You ring Aussie fish, order it over the phone, pay with your credit card, and they send them by overnight courier. These fish were packed yesterday afternoon at about 4 o'clock and put on the overnight courier, and we received them this morning. Fantastic. So we'll get busy and open them up now and have a look. So we can see now. We'll just start to unpack them. And here we have... Can you get the camera down on there? You can see all these beautiful little fish. Have a look at them. They're so small, but they're doing very well. They've travelled beautifully. And this is a plastic bag. You can see it's been pressurised with oxygen. And the fish actually are not fed for a couple of days before they're sent. So they, travel, they find they travel better that way. And in fact, Aussie fish at Childers, they send fish all over the world just like this, believe it or not. So anywhere you live in Australia, it's very easy for you to order fish from Aussie fish and have them delivered right to your door by courier. It's just amazingly easy. Now the first thing we've got to do is we've got to float the fish in the water because there could be a temperature differential. That's the first thing we need to worry about. So what we'll do is take the plastic bag out of the box. You can see how they've packed it here. There's our fish. Have a look at them, they're so little. And just imagine these all growing up in nine to 12 months. They'll be on the dinner plate. Doesn't seem fair, does it? But that's the way it works. Aren't they terrific? Beautiful jade perch. Wonderful fish to grow in your home aquaponic system. So the first thing we'll do is we're just going to put it in the, in the system. See how the fish tend to gather in the corner of the, the plastic bag? Can you see that through the water there? Just be careful when you're getting the bag out of the box because quite often some fish might get stuck in the peak of the plastic bag and you could inadvertently pick the bag up and actually kill some fish yourself by your own hand. So I can't stress enough to be careful when you're lifting the bag out of the box to lift it by the top where we've got the, the great big knot here that's been tied with a rubber band. Lift it out by that and carefully and then put your hand underneath it like so to support it. Just be careful of the corners. You can see the fish in there now and they naturally go to the corner and it would be very easy to make the mistake and pick it up by that and actually crush some of the fish. So let's just be careful when we do that. Okay, we're just going to leave that float now for about a half an hour and make sure the water temperature is identical. While we're waiting for this half hour to pass, here's a little tip for you. Get a couple of clothes pegs from the laundry and just peg the bag to the edge of the fish tank so it doesn't float away on you. And that'll become more important in a few minutes, you'll see, when we open up the bag, uh, to be able to peg it to the side of the fish tank and make sure it doesn't float away.